the county's metrics are strict, requiring coronavirus community transmission to fall significantly below current levels, for the number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 to decline and stay low, and for more people to complete their vaccination series. In addition, masks could be removed only in select indoor public settings if everyone there is fully vaccinated and there's a process in place to verify vaccination status, even under the new L. A. County Guidelines Masking would still be required at indoor events with 1, 0, 0, 0 or more people. While transmission remains substantial, we need to continue layering on protections, Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer told the L County Board of Supervisors on Tuesday. L County was California's first large jurisdiction to reinstitute public masking over the summer, because it was becoming clear that another coronavirus wave was bearing down on the recently reopened state. In mid-July, county health officials ordered all residents to wear masks in indoor public spaces, regardless of whether they'd been vaccinated against COVID-19. A month later, they expanded the masking mandate to include outdoor mega events with at least 10 000 attendees, such as concerts, festivals and sports games. Face coverings are also required at indoor events where 1 000 or more people are present. The county has a ways to go to meet those criteria. According to the CDC, L County is still seeing substantial coronavirus transmission, the second worst category on the agency's four-tier scale. L County is recording about 83 new coronavirus cases per 100 000 people over the last week, CDC data show. Reaching the moderate tier would require that case rate to drop below 50. And while weekly coronavirus case rates have dropped dramatically since late August, week-over-week -week declines essentially stopped in late October. Over the last most recent weekly period, new coronavirus cases have risen by 3% over the previous 7-day period.